I told you that I mean it when I Cause you're the real reason that I Even though you say I never I'll do anything so I can I told you that I mean it when I Hey family, what's good? This is your girl on the Bronze Goddess and I'm actually here today to do a pretty massive haul. I have so many things that I want to share with you guys, but this is a try on haul. I have clothing goodies for you guys, a couple pairs of shoes, some candles, a couple things from Lush, a little bit of everything. I'm going to jump right into it. Let's start off with the things that aren't clothing and shoes so that we can go into that later. First up, I got a couple of things from Lush, not a whole lot, just two items. I don't really need any more bath and beauty goodies right now, but when I saw it in the mall, I couldn't help but run in there and get a couple of things. So I got one of my favorite bath bombs of all time. You guys already know that it is Sex Bomb from Lush. I love the way that it looks. It's so cute and girly. This pink and purple with this really beautiful little flower on here. Like I said, this bath bomb is called Sex Bomb and I absolutely love it. Their bath bombs are really strong. You can actually break this in half if you want to. Uh, but yeah, got this. And then I've heard so much about this particular item. I feel like I've seen it in so many people's favorites videos and holy grail videos. And that is Ocean Salt. Let me know if you've tried this. Comment in the comment section if you like it. It says a vodka infused cocktail of bright fresh skin. Vodka? They put vodka in here? Like for real? Anyway, I can't wait to try this. I have sensitive skin, so most likely I won't be trying this on my actual face. I don't want to rip my face off, but I will try this on my skin, like my elbows, my knees, any place that I want to be super duper soft and supple. So those are the things that I got from Lush. And I got a couple of candles from Bath & Body Works. I, for me, I feel like I gravitate more towards their fall scents. Let me know what's your favorite spring scents, but I only found one that I was interested in trying. Before I tell you about that one, I have to get mahogany teak wood because it is bay. This candle right here, I just love it. I tell you guys all the time, it smells like a sexy man. It smells like my sexy man. As far as I'm concerned, this is my husband's neck in a jar. But let me read the description for you guys. It says, ready your home for the new season with an expertly crafted blend of mahogany, oak, frosted, lavender that is luxuriously classic. So I have this one. I can burn this anywhere. It's such a great home smell. I like to burn this when hubby's not around so it can remind me of him. Ting! <laughs> Just in case he happens to be watching this video. But anyway, I also got this one. Now this is my spring one. This is called Endless Weekend. And it smells insanely good. Let me read the description for this one. It says, a blend of fresh summer mandarin, sun-kissed magnolia, and blue coconut water that evokes days of sunshine and happiness that you wish would never end. Ah. Oh. This smells insane and I love the packaging on this. It looks very, you know, spring and summertime. It looks very, though, this kind of reminds me of like water, like frosted glass. I'm sure that was just excellent, excellent like marketing and things like that. So I got these two from Bath and Body Works. Now I got one thing from Target that I want to share with you guys. I got it at the Target one spot. I think it's stunning. And I got this beautiful floppy hat. It was only five bucks. Look at this little print on here. You can wear this with like a black romper or a black sundress, especially a sundress on the beach. It would be beautiful or a nice bathing suit. I think I'm going to wear this to my retreat high heels, high standards this July. I can just see me wearing this, you know, walking around poolside with some little heels on and girl serving. I have a couple of pairs of shoes, but these pairs of shoes right here are from, I got these from Shoe Dazzle and the brand is called Isabella Rue. And these are beautiful. Love, love, love these shoes. Are you ready? Look, they're so gorgeous. They have this nice laser cut on them and they have, of course, a peep toe. They also have a little bit of the heel out and these actually lace up your ankle if you want to tie them up a little bit. I got these because I just recently got a new designer bag. I'll link that video on the screen and also below. I got the designer bag in this navy blue and I wanted to match my bag with my shoes. So I wanted more like navy and I'm into blue for some reason. You guys see me rocking this blue today. I could have worn this with this today with some jeans. Yeah, I could wear some jeans and rock this. It'd be yes, honey. It would be so fetch. But anyway, I got these. Thought these were amazing. I, what's the name of these? In case you guys want to get them, these are called the Rachel. They're called the Rachel. All right. So I got those. Now let me show you guys the clothing items that I got from uh, Choey's. So first up, I got this top right here, which I think is so cute. It has a Bob Marley on it, and I love me some Bob Marley. I love all the Marleys. I love Damian Marley, especially Damian Marley. Welcome to Jamrock is my jam, Stephen Marley. 
the whole Marley family. But anyway, I got this one. It just says One Love. You can wear something like this with some ripped jeans, uh, some cut off black shorts and a kimono over it. You can wear it with a nice pencil skirt, a black fitted pencil skirt. But it's super cute and I love it. I actually want to wear my hair in a top knot or a, a side ponytail would be really cute. A side ponytail with this Bob Marley shirt would be stunning. So I like that. And then I got this bathing suit again, another item that I think I'm going to rock for high heels, high standards. Look how cute this is. It's a nice little one piece. I just love it. I love the little detail that it has here at the chest area. It's just super duper girly. Oh, with a red lip? Girl, yes. Yes, I'm going to rock lipstick at the pool. Girl, who doesn't? Okay. So I got this. And then lastly, I got a pair of shoes from Showies. I had these shoes in black. And I love them, so I wanted to get them in another color, a more neutral color for the times where I don't wear black. Look how cute this is. <sighs> so adorable. Now, this is faux suede. I think the black ones that I got were real suede, but I love these nonetheless. Nice neutral color. Whenever you're wearing, like, you know, bright neon orange or yellow or green or something like that, you don't really know what shoe to pair with it. That's why you need a shoe like this. And, of course, these lace-up shoes are still on trend. I think this might be, like, the third summer in a row that these lace-up shoes are on trend. But they are, and they go with everything. I have some earrings in here that I put in here so I wouldn't forget to show you. These are also from Chelly's. I'm going to put a close-up so you guys can see what they look like. These are going to look cute with that Bob Marley shirt that I showed you. These are in this sort of triangular, look at that, super cute, triangular little cutout. They're just really, really pretty. Gold, and they have this really beautiful tribal looking uh, detail all over them. Now I'm gonna show you guys some things that I got from She Inside. All right, so I have another statement necklace from them. This one is just gorgeous. You can wear this with so many different things. Like I said, a romper, a sundress, anything. Even like a top like this, a simple white cami. This would actually be cute with this too. Look at this. I'm going to close up so you guys can see. Not a bad statement piece, especially considering the price. It's not very expensive. Got a little weight on it and everything. So I, you would expect to find something like this at Charming Charlie's or uh, Forever 21 for like $13.80 or $15.80. Forever 21's jewelry is pricey, but I really like this piece right here. And then also speaking of Forever 21, I feel like this piece is a type of piece that you would also find there. And this is actually a sleep shirt, not really like an outfit, but I love it. It just says, first I need coffee. And then it says good morning on it. I think this would be great for those mornings when I'm doing the coffee run for my husband and I when I'm making that Starbucks run. I'll probably rock this. I'm more of an iced coffee type of girl, so hubby thinks I'm a faker because I don't drink hot coffee. But as far as I'm concerned, iced coffee still counts. But I like this little top right here. Great for sleeping in with some, you know, some knee-high socks or something like that. I got this little black dress. And it has little floral detail all over it. This is going to be a nice year-round dress. Whenever you put floral on a, ba a black background, you could easily wear it in the fall and winter. Imagine this with tights and ankle boots and a motorcycle jacket in the fall. But imagine it now with some strappy heels. Like you can rock it anytime or any way that you want to. But I love the floral print on here. Such a pretty detail. And the sheer sleeve. This is probably my favorite piece in the entire haul. It is Gorgeous, okay? Gorgeous. And here it is right here. I'm going to try to do it some justice, but I'm not sure without me. I, I tried it on, but you got to see it in person. But look at the detail. Look at that beautiful, very, very nice and well done lacy detail. So pretty. And then the bottom is this nice flowy white material that's actually heavy and thick. This dress weighs at least a pound. Like it's got some weight on it. It's not one of those cheaply made dresses. Now lastly I'm going to show you guys some things that I got from Romwe. So I got a couple black tops and here is the first one. This one is just a simple one shoulder black top. Again just screaming for a nice pair of earrings, statement earrings. You can wear this with jeans, with a bodycon skirt, you can wear it with some cut off shorts, whatever you want to wear it with. And then this top right here, I just love it. It may not be everybody's style, but it's definitely mine. It's like a regular t-shirt on the top, but the bottom is so over the top flowy. I just loved it when I saw it on the website. It's just really, really cute. All this little fluffy detail is so girly to me. I can see this with a nice statement necklace on it and a pencil skirt. I actually want to do like a colorful, uh, really busy print on the bottom. Maybe like a bright colored Aztec print or tribal print. Something really colorful on the bottom but fitted because I don't want to lose my waist with all of this fluff on the, on the midline right there. And then I also got this top right here. Another sleeper. Wasn't expecting this to be as cute as it really is. But look at this. It's really, really pretty. It's just off the shoulder white with this black embroidered 
floral detail all over it. The detail on this is insane, especially for this being like a China-based uh, little item. I love all of the detail. Like, they took their time and made it. It looks so much more expensive because of all the attention to detail. Nothing is snagged. Is this not printed on here? This is sewn on here. Like, it's gorgeous. I love the little sleeves. You can wear this with like a pencil skirt or I want to wear it with some little yellow shorts for some reason. I want to do yellow shorts or cobalt blue shorts. I want to wear this with shorts of another color. I feel like black is going to be the safe choice and I don't want to be safe. Alright, just two more things in this haul. I got this kimono. As you guys can tell, it's this really beautiful print on here. Yeah, it's got like a nice little lining in here as well. It feels a little bit more expensive than it actually is, but I love it. This is going to be great to wear with a white cami like the one that I'm wearing today and some really nice fitted skinny jeans. Because there's so many different shades of blue in here, you could do light wash, medium wash, or dark wash, even though dark wash is my favorite. But I really love this kimono. I love the color, and I've been getting so much navy because I knew I got that new blue handbag, and I wanted to make sure that I could wear it with so many different options and different items. And the last thing I got, again, is another sleeper item. An item that I got, thought it looked all right on, on the website, but in person and on, it's gorgeous. This red, really, really busy print wrap dress. I love this dress so much. It's going to be cute to wear with my red bag, go with that whole color scheme, but I love this dress so much. It fits like a dream. It's kind of like a nice flowy material. It's not super thick or anything, which is perfect for spring and summer. And the sleeves are a three-quarter sleeve. I am very short, so I'm always hesitant when I buy a maxi dress, knowing that I'm only 4'11 and it's probably going to be way too long. I'm happy that this length comes down right at my ankle. It's not too long for me, so I actually can get away with a maxi dress. So anyway, that has been it for this video. There were so many things that I wanted to share with you guys, so I hope that you guys enjoy. Let me know which items were your favorite. If I had to pick a favorite, it would most definitely be this dress right here. It looks and feels so much more expensive than it really is. And if I wear this to the right occasion, it's going to look so expensive. Like, I love this dress so much. I love this dress. I also love the heels, the blue heels and the, the little nude heels that I have, the lace-up heels, because I know I'm going to get a lot of use out of them this summer. But let me know your favorites. I love you guys, and I'll see you all in the next video. Until next time, later divas and dudes. Deuces, honey.